Welcome back everyone to another video here at the Scratch Off ASMR, also known as uh, On Road Fam and Rumble. And today I'm going to show you guys how to fix a tarp whenever we find holes on them. Here you see we have a black tarp, it's called a steel tarp for us flat bedders. And usually this happens a lot to us. We get loads where they rip through our tarps, so we have to patch them up. So that way we can save hundreds of dollars on repair and replacement. So here I found one that's a huge, well not really huge, but that's a good amount of hole right there. Water can seep through that and damage the product if we're not careful. Here's a huge gash. We're definitely gonna patch that up. And I believe I passed one over here at the back. And there it is. This right here is definitely gonna tear all the way out to the seams and that's gonna make it so all the entire tarp, the entire uh, longitude of this tarp will be ripped if I'm not careful. So I have to go ahead and patch that up too. And a bunch of uh, nitpicky areas over here that may have some huge holes if I can find them. It's hard to see, but uh, there it is, right beside my tripod. <laughs> That's one big hole right there. So let's go ahead and use these. We have our steel tarp patch and our lumber tarp patch. The uh, blue ones are called lumber tarps because the uh, blue tarps are meant to use for lumber. And uh, as you can see, I only have a small piece of the uh, steel tarp patch because uh, as I explained earlier, we always have to fix this because this is the one that always get damaged whenever we're tarping a load. But I'm gonna replace some of it for a uh, blue tarp uh, patch. So hopefully it holds and we also have an 80 grit sandpaper to kind of sand down some of the parts to uh, help make sure that the glue that we're going to use are going to hold on to both uh, items, the patch and the tarp itself. Alright, so let's go ahead and just do that. So as you can see earlier I showed this uh, gash over here, it's a huge gash. We're going to go ahead and try to fix that. We're going to sand down this area, give it a good sander, make sure it's rough, that way when we put glue in here, we'll actually sit in and try to hold on to the side whenever we patch it with the uh, black tarp patch. Alright, I got that one, I'm gonna make sure that it actually goes all the way through and that it fits. Yep. Fits. I'm gonna pat, I mean, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm gonna sand this side as well. Make sure it's roughened out. So that way the glue can hold onto it too. And then, now for the fun part, the glue. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have a hard time. Oh, there we go. Now, I like to like, lather this up really thick sometimes. Uh, today I'm just gonna spread it. So that way it'll hold immediately since the temperature today is not ideal for this type of glue. Uh, it doesn't really dry up that well in cold weather. So let's go ahead and spread that out real quick. Good, widespread, and it's okay to go a little bit overboard on your um, on your glue. So that way we know for sure that the uh, glue is gonna do its job. All right, now let's go ahead and place the patch. We gotta get that under the seam over there. And spread that out. Hold it down. There we go. And there we have it. Now we have that huge gash patched and we got more to go. <laughs> Alrighty. So there you have it guys. So flat bedding itself is not that easy as people might think. It is a little bit of a um, physical work. It's a lot of physical work but it does keep you active you can stay healthy as a flat better doing this kind of job and on your free time instead of wasting it on just sitting down and watching movie or playing games on your computer with the current generation doing all just that whenever they get free time it's best to do a little bit of a uh, pre-trip post-trip um, checking your equipment to make sure that it'll do the job that it needs to do once you start rolling again so there you have it guys, this is Scratch of SMR and also known as On Fam, uh, On Road Fam on Rumble. 
and thank you for watching this video.